There's the trippy thing, right? So I'm doing radio, and years and years later, I, I found out that the guitar player of the Sidewinders had a record label called Santa Cinto Records. And one of the things that he had done was he had signed the Gin Blossoms. And actually, the Jim Blossom's first record helped get them signed on a and Records, right? So um, I had been reaching out to him. I I'd called the number on the back of the records for their office. I called a couple times, like seeing if I could just get their newest band's music. And I got no, no reply, no reply. And finally, one day, I did, I did, I go, okay, three strikes. I'll do one more call. I did one more call with the Sidewinders playing in the behind me, like as I'm talking on the phone. And I thought I was just gonna get like an AR person calling back. No, the guitar player, the owner of the record label actually calls me and sends out a care package. And I've been talking, I talked with him throughout that whole period. We talked over the phone, just kind of a casual friendship. Uh, his new band, the Luminarios, came through uh, California and, and through my radio show and through me, I set up a, a gig for him there. And, and every time they come to California, I would go and we developed a friendship point of the story is I've been friends with him now since 93 I would say is when we started talking he's the owner of this record store so that's kind of why I'm here it's because yeah so he's always been like a big brother to me he's always kind of looked out because he's older than me he's always kind of been kind of looked out after me in, in in ways in certain ways and so you know yeah so that's why I'm here at the record store it's because this is the record store of, of the Sidewinders the guitar player